السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ سو so, اس ویڈیو میں ہم انٹرنل جنائٹل آرگنس کے بارے میں پڑھیں گے انٹرنل جنائٹل آرگنس میں چار چیزیں آتی ہیں فرسٹ ون از وجائنا سیکنڈ ون از یوٹرس تھرڈ ون از فیلوپین ٹیوبس اینڈ فورتھ ون از اوبریز وی ول بگن فرسٹ وتھ وجائنا بفور کمنگ ٹو اٹس انٹروڈکٹو پارٹ لیٹس سی ہاؤ وجائنا از ڈیولپ فرام ٹھیک ہے دس از دی یوٹرس دس از سروکس and this one is vagina so the upper two third part of vagina is derived from mullerian duct and the lower one third part of the vagina is derived from the urogenital sinuses now coming to its introductive part vagina is the lowest segment of the internal genitalia because first uterus comes then the cervix and then the vagina so it forms the lower segment of the internal genitalia and it is a muscular membranous canal which serves as birth canal coital canal and the menstrual passage now see its location where it is located so anteriorly it lies between urinary bladder and urethra posteriorly it is in relation with upper one third with pouch of douglas also known as retro uterine pouch or caldi sac middle one third by ampulla of rectum and lower one third by perineal body now let's understand this with the help of diagram this is uterus this is vagina this is anterior wall of vagina and this one is the posterior wall of the vagina so okay so vagina it is anteriorly it anteriorly lies between this is bladder and this one is urethra so it anteriorly lies between bladder and urethra this is the posterior wall of vagina posteriorly it is making a pouch which separates uterus with the rectum so this pouch like structure is known as pouch of douglas or retro uterine pouch or caldi sac so this pouch like structure is situated on upper one third part of the vagina middle one third part of vagina is in relation with ampulla of rectum and the lower one third of part of the vagina is in relation with the perineal body so here these are the perineal body area so the lower one third is in relation with the perineal body and laterally it is lined by mockin roth's ligament so this if this is the vagina this is the vagina the ligaments lies transversely to the vagina so the, that is what the mock and roth's ligament which is uh, lying laterally to the vagina now coming to the walls of the vagina so it has two walls anterior wall and the posterior wall anterior wall as i said you earlier this one is the anterior wall of vagina and this one is the posterior wall of the vagina as you can see uh, in the diagram that the anterior wall of the vagina is smaller than the posterior wall so anterior wall is measuring about 7.5 cm whereas the posterior wall because it is larger than the anterior one it is measuring approximately 9 cm now coming up to the fornix so uh, vagina has fornix the anterior fornix and the posterior fornix you can make it from the diagram see this is the uterus and this is the cervi- cervix the cervical part which is protruding into the vagina it is making pouch like structure with anterior wall of the vagina as well as with the posterior wall of the vagina so this pouch like structure made by cervi- cervical part and the anterior wall of the vagina is known as anterior fornix and the posterior fornix is made by the posterior wall as well as with the cervical part of the uterus so this part this pouch is known as posterior fornix and this pouch is known as anterior fornix anterior fornix as you can see is shallow than the posterior one posterior fornix is more deeper okay now let's see the layers of the vagina so there are four layers in vagina fibrous layer which is the outermost layer then muscularis layer then comes the submucous and then the mucous layer which is the most in uh, most inner one 
इतना कमिंग अप टू दी एपिथीलियम लाइन बाय सो वजाइना वजाइनल एपिथ वजाइना इज लाइन बाई एपिथीलियम कॉल्ड स्टार्टिफाइड स्क्वेमस एपिथीलियम वेर एज इन न्यू बॉर्न इट इज लाइन विद ट्रांजेशनल एपिथीलियम वजाइनल पी एच इज रेंजिंग फ्रॉम थ्री पॉइंट एट टू फोर पॉइंट फाइव दैट इज द एसिडिक पी एच नाउ कमिंग अप टू इट्स सिक्रेशन द सिक्रेशन आर वाइटिश येलोविश वाइट बट दीज आर नॉट एक्चुअली द सिक्रेशन ऑफ द वजाइना कॉज वजाइना हैज नो ग्लैंड सो वट एवर सिक्रेशन यू सी थ्रू द वजाइना कमिंग आउट इज नॉट एक्चुअली द सिक्रेशन ऑफ द वजाइना इट्स द सिक्रेशन विच इज सिक्रेटेड बाई द सर्वाइकल ग्लैंड फ्रॉम द सर्विक्स ना इनहिबिटेड बैक्टीरिया एज यू ऑल नो दैट वजाइना हैज बैक्टीरिया टाइप्स ऑफ बैक्टीरिया विच प्रिवेंट्स आस फ्रॉम द इन्फेक्शन सो वन ऑफ द बैक्टीरिया नेम इज डॉडरलिंस बैक्टीरिया विच इज अ लैक्टो बेसिल्लाय ओके वॉट डज इट डू द लैक्टो बेसिल्लाय यूटिलाइज ग्लाइकोजन एंड कन्वर्ट्स इट इन टू लैक्टिक एसिड अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ इस्ट्रोजन हॉर्मोन सो एज दर इज हाई इस्ट्रोजन लेवल लैक्टो बेसिल्लाय कन्वर्ट्स ग्लाइकोजन इन टू द लैक्टिक एसिड मेंटेनिंग द एसिडिक वर्टिजाइनल पी एच ओके नाउ द मैक्सिमम एसिडिक पी एच इज सीन during pregnancy and the basic ph is seen during menstruation menopause and in children why see menstru- during menstruation what happens our uh, blood ph is 7.4 so when the blood passes through the vagina it makes the vaginal ph as well basic and at menopause there is decrease 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 level of estrogen or zero estrogen so because these bacilli and the influence of estrogen converts glycogen into the lactic acid and responsible for the vaginal acidic ph so these bacilli do not convert glycogen into the lactic acid therefore the ph remains basic okay now the type of vaginal epithelial cells these you can uh, exclude uh, but it will help you in the pg examination it's a pg point of uh, question so types of vaginal epithelial cell uh, there are three types of cells parabasal cell intermediate cell and the superficial cells so parabasal cell uh, increase in number when there is no dominance of hormone no dominance of hormones meaning the progesterone level and the estrogen level both are high or both are low that is the both if both are equal neither one is high nor one is less so parabasal cell will increase in number okay intermediate cells increase in number when there is progesterone dominance that is the there when there is high level of progesterone so intermediate cells will increase in number and superficial cells will increase in number when there is estrogen dominance that that is when there is high level of estrogen now coming to the blood supply part the blood supply the blood supply of vagina so how can you remember this uh, people find it difficult to learn see upper one third part of vagina uh, as i said you th- this cervix is protruding the cervix is protruding into the vagina see this cervix is protruding into the vagina okay in the upper one third of the vagina so it will be supplied by both cervical vaginal artery okay cervical vaginal artery in this way you can remember cervical vaginal artery is a branch of uterine artery okay now the middle one third part will be supplied by vaginal artery as the middle one third part uh, is vagina itself so it will supply by vaginal artery and the lower one third part will be supplied by pudendal nerve as well as the middle rectum see the lower one third part it is in relation with the uh, perineal body and uh, posteriorly relation with the uh, rectum so uh, the lower one third part will be supplied by both pudendal nerve as well as the middle uh, rectal artery Perine- in perineal body only we have uh, pudendal nerve so remember this also one thing i want to make uh, make it clear that vaginal artery is a branch of internal iliac artery theek okay? hai vaginal artery is a branch of internal iliac artery now coming up to its venous uh, drainage so venous drainage is through ve- vaginal vein and it is a branch of internal iliac veins and the nerve supply is through the vaginal plexus or you can say the perineal branch of pudendal nerve plus pelvic pelvic plexus or you can write vaginal plexus 
now coming up to the next part that is the uterus so first uh, you have to know that how it is developed from so, uterus cervix uh, vagina upper third one and uh, these are developed from the mullerian ducts okay uterus also known as womb or hysteria and it is a primary organ for growth and development of the fetus and menstruation uterus is only the organ uh, in which the uh, in which the implantation occurs or in which the fetus grows and uh, delivery of the baby takes place and menstruation also occurs now the parts of the uterus the upper one is fundus middle one is body the lower one is thomas and the last lower one is cervix so body also known as corpus what is fundus fundus is a convex part which is free uh, part of the uterus and the most upper part of the uterus okay it is the part in which the implantation takes place especially in the posterior wall of the fundus okay in posterior wall of the fundus implantation takes place body has three layers perimetrium myometrium endometrium but further myometrium further has three layers of fiber that is the longitudinal layer outermost middle one is criss cross layer and the inner one is circular layer now let's understand it from the diagram see the uppermost part which is free from the uterus is the fundic part now from this level below the fundus and above the isthmus is the body part okay what is isthmus isthmus is the part which is connecting uterus to the cervix see this is body of the uterus okay this is the lower part of the uterus this is the cervix this is the cervix this is the isthmic part and this is the body so isthmic part is the part which connects body of the uterus to the cervix so this part is known as isthmic part okay fundus body isthmus and the cervix now let's understand from the diagram the layers of the uterus see the outer layer is perimetrium the middle one is the myometrium and the inner one is the endometrium now myometrium the middle layer further has three fibrous layer so the outermost is longitudinal see here i have drawn just to make you all understand okay uh, so here uh, this is the longitudinal fiber see fir the red one is the criss cross layer and the half circular one is this circular layer okay circular layer is the innermost one longitudinal layer is the outermost and the criss cross layer is the middle layer okay now these fibers these all three fibers uh, fibers uh, interlace with each other okay interlace with each other in a manner called living ligature now i'll show you how they are interlacing with each other see the longitudinal circular and the criss cross layer they interlace with each other uh, in between there is a blood vessels okay these are the blood vessels this pattern of interlacing fibers with each other known as living ligature and these uh, the in myometrium these muscles uh, arrange themselves in a uh, in a pattern of uh, in a pattern of ligature so this pattern okay this pattern is only responsible or this form is only responsible for the uh, shutting of blood vessels see during uh, delivery we feel contraction or uh, a contraction occurs Con during contraction these muscles contract and the blood vessels gets shuts up okay so what happens after the delivery the uterus uh, immediately has to be contracted if it does not get contracted then it will leave into the massive hemorrhage why because if it will not contract these blood vessels will not get shut up and it will leave into the massive hemorrhage massive hemorrhage which is known as postpartum hemorrhage or bleeding after the uh, delivery it will leave into the postpartum hemorrhage and then shock okay so these are um, this pattern or this muscular layer is only responsible for the hemorrhage now the epithelium the uterus is lined by columnar epithelium now what is the cornua see what is the cornua cornua is the part which connects fallopian tube 
to the uterus see this is the fallopian tube okay this is the fallopian tube and cornua is the part which connects fallopian tube to the uterus okay now the structures attached to the cornua this is the cornua part okay which is attaching fallopian tube to the uterus so the structures attached to the cornua are fallopian tube this is the ovarian ligament okay this one is the ovarian ligament and this one is the round ligament so three structures are attached to the cornua that is the fallopian tube ovarian ligament and the round ligament now coming up to the next part support of the uterus so uterus is supported by three types of ligament that is the broad ligament round ligament and the ovarian ligament so where i i have said you that where the round ligament is where the ovarian ligament is now where the broad ligament is i'll show you see this is the area this pencil colored one this is the area of broad ligament see these are the broad ligament so uterus is supported by broad ligament okay so uh, round ligament and then the ovarian ligament position of the uterus it is antiverted and the antiflex what is antiverted and antiflex antiverted it is the angle between vagina and cervix that is making acute angle of 90 degree and antiflex is angle between uterus and cervix which is making obtuse angle of 120 to 130 degree approximately 135 degree okay now let me uh, show you with the help of diagram see this is uterus okay this is the cervical part this is the vagina okay now this is the long axis passing through vagina and this is the long axis passing through the cervix so it is making an angle of 90 degree known as antiversion okay now this is uterus and this is cervix and this is vagina the long axis of the cervix is making angle with the long axis of the uterus of that is the obtuse angle okay this one is making acute angle and this one is making obtuse angle of 1 to 120 to 130 degree that is approximately 135 degree known as antiflexion so here you have to remember that antiversion is the angle between vagina and cervix whereas the antiflexion is the angle between cervix and the uterus now let's learn about shape weight length and volume of the uterus so the shape of the uterus it is pear shaped or pyriform whereas the weight of the uterus now in case of non in case of non pregnant women it is 60 to 70 grams whereas in pregnant women the uterus measures about 1000 grams length of uterus in non pregnant women the length of uterus is 6 to 7 cm whereas in pregnant uterus uh, pregnant women the uterus measures about 35 cm or length about 35 cm now the volume of the uterus in non pregnant women it is 10 ml whereas in pregnant human uh, pregnant women it is 5000 ml let's begin with the stomach part of the uterus so where it is located it is located about anatom above anatomical internal os and below histological internal os and it forms the lower uterine segment 70% case Let me show you where the anatomical and histological internal os internal os are present. See, this is the uterus. Okay. Uh, this is cervix. Okay. This part is cervix. This is vagina. So here, in medially, it 